Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we like to show you how to use some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. One of the coolest features ever to come out in Ecamm Live is now profiles or show profiles. These profiles allow you to do many different shows, whether recorded, live stream, maybe your Zoom things, your presentations, all by just changing a single profile, you can get an entirely different look and never worry about messing up your other shows or having that long scene list with like 3000 scenes in it because you run five or six different shows. I'm gonna show you how to use some of the dope features inside of show profiles, like setting them up and copying assets from profile to profile. You could even export these and send a completed show to a partner if you need someone to take over for you while you go on vacation. Let's dive in. While we're in Ecamm, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up here to the top menu and click on the word profile. Under profile, you see you have the ability to create a blank profile, duplicate the current profile, export a profile, delete the current profile, rename the current profile, and you have the ability to switch profiles. I am currently using my profile for a live stream called This Week in Live, and I'll quickly switch over to my Ecamm branded profile. Once I click over to my Ecamm branded profile, what you'll notice here is now I have an entirely set of different scenes. Once again, I'll switch back while zoomed in and you see I have an entirely brand new set of scenes. Switching from one profile to the next will allow you to have the set and the look that you need. Now, what's really good about profiles is that if I open up my preferences window, you'll notice that it holds down things like settings. So I'm gonna set this for Amazon Live. I'll set this at 720 at 25 frames per second. This is perfect for when streaming to Amazon Live. Now, if I were to go back to my other profile, say my Ecamm profile, if I come in here and go to my settings now, you'll see that I am at 4K at 24P. So you don't have to worry about your stream settings, they stick with your profiles. Profiles are also wonderful because they not only carry your scenes, your overlays, your graphics, your sound effects, your camera effects, they also control your platform settings. So for instance, right now on this Ecamm profile, I am logged into my YouTube section. If I click on my YouTube section down here, you'll see a list of upcoming streams that I have available. If I were to switch profiles and say, go to my default Doc Rock profile and I click on my YouTube section, you notice I don't have any scheduled live streams right now. What this means is no longer are the days where you accidentally start a stream on the wrong platform. Uh oh, I didn't did something stupid. Now you can change platforms and social logins with every profile you created. Another cool feature of profiles is you can copy and paste scenes and overlays from profile to profile. Watch this here. I'm going to select on this one because it's aptly designed. I'm going to make sure I have it selected and I will press command C to copy. I will switch over to a brand new profile. Let's call it this one. This scene is blank. I'll press command V to paste it in. And now I go into my scene. So you can even move assets from profile to profile. Also, I have the ability to export these and send them to another person. Now that you can move assets from profile to profile, it's easier to get set up. You're not necessarily always starting from blank. As you can see, Show Profiles makes it easy if you run multiple shows like myself, or maybe you're a remote producer or a show designer. You can easily send assets to and fro and just makes your life so much better. I hope you got a kick out of that. If you like this, please press the like button, press the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss another video. Of course, if you have a Feature Friday tutorial you'd like to see us do, make sure you leave that down in the comments along with any questions, comments or feedback. I'm Doc Rock, your community manager. And now I think there's two more videos that you might like coming up for you on screen. <laughs>